What's up guys, it's Preetz coming to you with a new Binding of Isaac video. Today I'm going to explain how to unlock every character in the Binding of Isaac Afterbirth Plus. The first three characters I want to talk about are the Lost, the Forgotten, and the Keeper because they are the three hardest to unlock in the game. To start off this video, I'm going to explain how to unlock the Lost. The first step to unlocking the Lost is to defeat the Lamb with Isaac. In order to do this, you have to have the negative unlocked by beating Satan five times. This requires you to take the trap door in the devil room after defeating mom's heart and beating Satan, or after unlocking it lives by defeating mom's heart 11 times and taking the trap door at the end of the it lives fight and then beating Satan. Once you have the negative unlocked, you can take the negative with Isaac, go through Sheol, and beat Satan. Then beat the lamb. This unlocks the item missing poster. Next, you need to jump into a run with any character. However, Isaac is the easiest if you have the D6 unlocked for him, which requires you to beat Blue Baby with Isaac. This may take a good amount of attempts as you need to find the missing poster trinket during your run. The best method to find the missing poster is to get mom's box in the store. As you can see in my game, I was able to perform a game break and get the poster out of the box. You can also get lucky and find the missing poster without the box. Now that you have the missing poster, you need to find a sacrifice room. Once in the sacrifice room, you simply have to kill your character. However, be cautious as the sacrifice room has specific payouts for each sacrifice. The important ones to know are on the 8th sacrifice, 6 troll bombs spawn, on the 9th sacrifice, Uriel will spawn, on the 11th sacrifice, Gabriel will spawn, and finally on the 12th, you will teleport to dark room. If you die in any other way than using the sacrifice spikes, you will not unlock the lost. The best method to use the sacrifice room is to inflict damage by either bombing yourself, touching fire, touching non-sacrifice room spikes, or letting enemies hit you until you are on a heart or two of health. This ensures you don't accidentally kill yourself in the wrong way. After you die, you should see a paper pop up that says that you have unlocked the lost and your character will respawn. The rest of the run does not affect the lost unlock. You have officially unlocked the lost. The lost starts with the D4 if you have the D4 unlocked, which is done by blowing up 30 arcade machines. But more importantly, the lost starts with the holy mantle if you have donated 879 coins to the greed donation machine. The next character is the forgotten. For the forgotten unlock, you are going to want to use a strong character that you are comfortable playing fast as. Personally, I chose Azazel because he has flying and brimstone. The first step is starting a run and beating the first floor's boss in under a minute. You will know you successfully did this if you hear mom yell and then hear footsteps. For this next step, you need a bomb. If you do not have a bomb, you have three options. One, buy a bomb in the shop. Two, use the sacrifice spikes once. Or three, restart the run. The sacrifice room will only drop a bomb on the first sacrifice if you beat the boss in under one minute. You will then need to head back to the starting room where you'll see a large strange shadow on the floor of the room. You can place a bomb anywhere in the room which will cause a broken shovel to fall on the floor. Once you touch it, the item goes into your active item spot. You are now going to be bombarded by two of mom's feet for the rest of your run. Pray you get host hat or pyromaniac. It is important that you do not switch the shovel out with another active item. If you do, nothing bad will happen, but if you leave the room with a different active item, the shovel will disappear. Now you need to get to the mom fight and beat boss rush for the next step. The step is straightforward because all you have to do is make it to the mom fight. The usual 20 minute time limit does not affect you for getting the door to the boss rush to open. Once you beat mom, the game will not let you do anything other than a devil or angel room and boss rush. The trap door to the womb is closed. Once you're in the boss rush, you can take any of the items. Now you need to beat the boss rush. It is important that for both the mom fight and boss rush that you have the shovel in your active item slot at the end of the fight. This is only important if you bought the backpack. Once you beat boss rush, the second half of the shovel will be your boss rush reward. Once you pick it up, you will have a whole shovel and the feet will stop stomping on you. The final step is to go to dark room, which is hard to mess up because the game only lets you pick up the negative and then makes you go to shield. Once in dark room, you're going to have to navigate the floor until you find a room with a grave in it. Walk on top of the grave and use the shovel. You'll see the soul fly up off the screen. It is important you wait for the soul to leave the screen entirely. You'll see a page pop up on the screen and say forgotten unlocked. You officially unlocked the forgotten. The forgotten does not have any starting items that can be unlocked. The next character is the keeper. At the beginning of the video, I said the Keeper is one of the three hardest to unlock. The reason for this is not because you have to do any series of complicated or challenging steps. All you have to do is donate 1,000 coins to the Greed Donation Machine. The challenging part about this is you can only hold 99 pennies. During the Greed fight, if you are hit, you lose a penny completely and drop anywhere from 1 to 3 pennies. In addition, the more coins you donate as each character, the more likely the character will jam the machine. It is possible that if you beat Greed with 99 pennies, the donation machine will jam before you can donate all of your coins. This can happen to you on your first time donating with any character. 
Let's say you're able to donate 99 coins every time. This will take you 11 runs, assuming the donation machine does not jam. So expect this to take a long time. Now it is possible to donate more than 99 coins after the greed fight. This requires you to bring in a Yara, a two of diamonds, or either with a blank card. But as I said before, the donation machine will have a higher chance to jam the more coins you donate. Let me explain how the jam chance works. The jam chance depends on how many coins that character has donated in any run of greed mode. The first 54 coins you donate have a 0% chance of jamming. From 55 coins to 93 coins, the machine has a 1% chance of jamming. From 94 coins to 113, the machine has a 2% chance of jamming. The jam chance maxes out at 20%. You get the point. In Afterbirth Plus, the jam chance is actually lower and greedier, but you get less coins each floor, so you have to pick your poison. Once you donate 999 coins, the machine will take one more coin and explode. A paper will appear that says you unlock the keeper and fireworks will start shooting out of the donation machine. You've officially unlocked the keeper. The keeper starts with the wooden nickel if you defeat Isaac with the keeper. He also starts with one coin if you defeat Hush with the keeper. Finally, he starts with the store key if you defeat Satan with the keeper. For this last section of the video, I'm going to explain how to unlock all the remaining characters. First is Magdalene. To unlock Magdalene, you are required to have 7 or more Red Heart containers in a single run at one time. This is one of the achievements that is the easiest to do by just playing the game. Boss fights love to give you health up items, and PhD can make it easier to find health up pills. Next is Kane. To unlock Kane, you are required to hold 55 coins at once. Once again, this is an achievement you will earn very naturally. Just don't buy anything until you get 55 coins if you want to unlock Kane. Judas. To unlock Judas, you're required to defeat Satan, so just hop down the trapdoor in the devil room after the mom fight, or the trapdoor on the floor after the it lives fight. Then you defeat Satan, and you have Judas. Blue Baby To unlock Blue Baby, you're required to defeat Mom's Heart 10 times, since Mom's Heart is the final boss until you unlock It Lives, which is unlocked by beating Mom's Heart 11 times, you unlock Blue Baby naturally as you play. Eve to unlock Eve, you're required to not pick up any hearts for two floors. This is the first character that requires a little effort to unlock. This means you cannot pick up any hearts whatsoever. It's easiest to do this on the first two floors. You are allowed to pick up health items. Samson. To unlock Samson, you have to beat two floors without taking any damage. Again, this takes some effort. However, this can be done easily on any floor if you have good enough items and moderate skill. I lack both. If all else fails, someday you will have the loss and you'll unlock Samson with ease. Azazel. To unlock Azazel, you must take three devil deals in one run. To do this, you want to have your devil room chance to be as high as possible at all times. A devil room will never spawn on the first floor unless it is an XL floor or you use the joker card. On floor 2, the devil room will have a 100% chance to spawn. However, if you take any red heart damage, your devil room chance will be reduced to 0%. If you get a devil deal, the next floor will have a lesser chance to spawn a devil room, a multiplier of 0.25. The second floor after you see a devil room, you are half as likely to spawn the devil room, a multiplier of 0.5. And the third floor, you are back to having a 100% chance to spawn the devil room. Blowing up shopkeepers and beggars increases your chance, as well as having Pentagram, Black Candle, Book of Revelations, or Book of Belial. If you have a goat head, the devil room will always have a 100% chance to spawn. Lazarus. To unlock Lazarus, you're required to have four or more soul hearts at one time. The hardest part about unlocking Lazarus for new players is keeping your soul heart health. If you have enough coins, it is pretty easy to buy all four soul hearts in the store. Eden. To unlock Eden, you have to complete Chapter 4. This simply means that you have to complete the womb for the first time. This is where you fight at mom's heart. Lilith. To unlock Lilith, you have to beat greed mode as Azazel. Azazel is one of the easiest characters to play, so this should be a piece of cake. And finally, Apollyon. To unlock Apollyon, you have to defeat Megastan as any character. In order to fight Megastan, you have to have beaten Blue Baby or the Lamb in a previous run. You then have to get Angel Rooms, which only spawn if you do not take Devil Deals. Once in an Angel Room, you bomb the statue and either Uriel or Gabriel spawn. Once you defeat the Angel, you get a key piece. Now all you have to do is get another Angel Room and fight another Angel. This gets you a second key piece and you can now open the door to the mega stand fight in chest or dark room. Well guys, that was how to unlock every character in the Binding of Isaac Afterbirth Plus. As you can probably tell, I put a lot of effort into this video because I'm trying to make my content a lot better since I've been receiving a lot of growth. Currently, I'm at 584 subscribers, which is absolutely insane. So if you've been watching my content, subscribing to my channel, commenting, liking, or anything that's interacting with my channel, thank you so, so much. I want to make my content better and better with every video, and I hope you guys enjoyed. This has been Preets. Peace out. Bye.